Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So about 10 days or so ago, I posted a video regarding a Windows Update KB5015814, which was this month, July 2022's um, Compulsory Metri Bandatory Automatic Patch Tuesday update for Windows 11 that rolled out around about the 12th, 13th of July, depending on your region. Now, um, as mentioned in that video, um, there were some user reports uh, that after installing the update, there were start menu glitches. Um, and one of the, uh, the, the guilty parties for those uh, start menu glitches was apparently Malwarebots. And um, also the update was failing to install for some users and um, also generating um, error codes on that installation failure. But the, the, the main problem was start menu glitches after installing the update. Now, the good news is, is that if you have um, been experiencing any of those start menu issues, uh, that Microsoft has recently performed another known issue rollback to resolve uh, that uh, those start menu issues. And yeah, if we head over to the known issues um, on uh, Microsoft Docs, as we can see, start menu might not open. And that was with OS build 22,000.778 and update KB5014668, as they mentioned here, after installing 5014668 or later updates. So that means any update from 5014668, and that was 5015814, and also um, last week's optional bug fix C release update, KB5015882. So any of those updates, if you were um, experiencing any uh, start menu issues after any of those updates, um, uh, th those issues have been resolved on the 22nd of July. And um, that was about three days or so ago in my region. We are already on the 25th in my region. So you might have had this issue resolved already. But um, in case you haven't, um, Microsoft says uh, they had received reports that a small number of devices might be able to open the start menu. Um, on effect, devices clicking or selecting the start button or using the Windows key on your keyboard might have no effect. So that was the issue. And then the resolution here, yeah, they say they've performed another known issue rollback. And the long and the short of that is it's something Microsoft does from their side. Um, it happens in the background, so you don't have to install another update or do anything from your side. And Microsoft takes care of it from their side. And they say here, though, that please note, if you are still experiencing this issue, please note that it might take up to 24 hours uh, for the resolution to propagate automatically to consumer and non-managed business devices. Now, as they always say, and what I do suggest uh, with these known issue rollbacks, is that if you haven't, if you are still experiencing any start menu issues after installing any of those updates mentioned, um, that restarting your Windows device might help the resolution and apply uh, apply the known issue rollback to your device faster. So if you haven't restarted your device in a couple of days um, and you are experiencing those issues, just restart your device. And that should, um, according to Microsoft and their known issue rollback, uh, resolve the issue and um, stop the start menu from having any glitches or issues uh, pertaining to the start menu and any apps. And affected platform is Windows 11 version 21H2, which is the latest stable release. So thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.